And how confident are you that Thailand can return to a true democracy with, uh, with greater uh, political and media freedoms once again? Well, according to the government's roadmap, the election should be held sometimes around February of next year. While there continues to be uncertainties, and of course in the past they have kept uh, delaying or shifting the dates, um, I feel that this time there is enough public pressure and social pressure to ensure that even if there were to be any attempts to delay the elections, it couldn't be for much longer. And I think people do have high expectations that elections will be held and that after the elections are held, that there will be greater confidence and Thailand can return to normalcy with a better economy. What do you think would happen if, just say, the elections were pushed back again or even, God forbid, cancelled altogether? Because it does, as you say, there does seem to be a, a groundswell right now with, with Thai people on the streets really wanting this to happen. Right. I, I, I don't believe that uh, it could be delayed indefinitely. Uh, I think it would be much tougher now for the regime to try to put off or postpone the dates. So I, I, I firmly believe that uh, they will have to stick roughly to the, to the dates that have been announced. And, uh, and that's the expectations of the Thai people. Uh, Kunapisi, this is uh, Martin. I'm up in Beijing. Uh, let me quickly jump in with a question. The, uh, the protest, the growing unrest on the streets in the capital, Bangkok, which Mandy referred to just a couple of seconds ago. I mean, uh, you're, you're leader of the Democrat Party, and you've got your uh, finger very much on, on the pulse, on the ground, uh, what's going on. Do you have any sense who are these people this time around, and who are they being funded by? Well, the, the protest leaders are um, students and also some activists. Uh, they are not uh, strictly new faces. These people have been uh, involved in uh, previous movements. Um, it's still uh, relatively uh, seen as minor protests. And uh, I think part of that is because with the people supporting the holding of elections, they do not want to see instability or, pro or trouble especially violence uh, or mass protests uh, that could possibly actually delay the elections. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.